In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this automation. What this does is every time you upload a blog to your website, the contents of that blog gets condensed in a really nice formatted way and then automatically uploaded into your Google My Business account. Uploading posts regularly into your Google My Business account is a really good way to increasing and improving your local SEO. And I'm gonna show you how to completely automate this whole thing with the power of AI powered automations. The way that it works is that this triggers every time you create a blog on your website. The blog then gets scraped of all the contents. The contents get sent into a custom GPT with simple set of instructions to condense that blog into one or 200 words with a nice compelling call to action at the end to try and get the reader to read the entirety of the blog. That content is then posted on your Google My Business account as an update. Keeping your Google My Business updated with posts and updates is an incredible strategy to improve your local SEO. So it's really nice having this just done on autopilot for you. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an SEO agency and I also run an online community where I teach you how to do all this stuff. That is AI powered ranking and AI powered automations. We teach you all there is to know about how to use artificial intelligence correctly to help you rank your website number one on Google search engine. You have the AI powered SEO masterclass in here. That's a six module, that's six modules with about eight to 10 videos in each module where we teach you everything you need to know. We also give you the prompts and the tools that we use. It's also a really good place to meet more people that are in that are also learning about all this stuff. And uh, my favorite bit is the weekly meetings that we have where you can, where it's a live Q and A, you can ask any questions that you have. If you wanna join that, if you're interested in joining, uh, check it out in the description below. If you don't wanna make that step, no problems, just keep watching these videos. I'll keep on publishing as many tutorials as I can. In order for us to build this nice automation, we're going to need a new, a few tools to get started, a few accounts. Don't worry, they're all free except for Zapier, but anyway. The first one is RSS app. This is going to trigger, or um, this is gonna be the catalyst of the trigger, really. You don't exactly need this to create this trigger, but this just solves the problem of being the solution no matter what website builder you have. And then we're gonna use Scraptio. There is many, many tools you can use to scrape a link or a website. I find this one just being the best. It doesn't cost me any issues. And the free version allows you to uh, get 30 requests a month, which for this should be more than enough. Once you have accounts to those two, we can start and obviously you're gonna need an account on Zapier. We're going to go to Zapier and create a new Zap. And the first trigger is gonna be the RSS feed. We're going to click search and just type in RSS and you're going to find the RSS feed by Zapier. Uh, we're going to go new item in feed, click continue. And now you need feed URL, a username if it needs one and a bunch of other things. Now, this is where you can go to your RSS feed app. You need to create an account and I think you've got about 15 feeds for free in the free account. You're going to grab your blog link on your website. This one, we're gonna use this one for this example. And remember, you need to have access to both the Google My Business account, obviously for your account, otherwise this won't work. Uh, and I'm just gonna copy the blog here the blog link and put it into my RSS feed here and I'm creating a feed. What this is doing is just every time you upload a blog, it'll trigger this feed to kind of check this out and all the information. I'm gonna save the feed here. Um, you can name it whatever you want and you're gonna copy this one here. It should say, you know, RSS feed app forward slash feeds, yada, yada. You're gonna go back to your zap. We're going to hit enter here. For this, you don't need a username and you don't need anything else. And we're going to go continue. You wanna test that trigger to make sure you're pulling the right information from your feed that we just created. And in this instance, yep, we are pulling the right stuff where the raw title is the benefits of therapeutic gardening, which is what we want. We want the link from the blog itself because we wanna take people there eventually. And we want this as well. And that is the image that we're gonna use that we should have an image on the blog as well as the feature image. And it's the raw content URL that is called. And we're getting that because we'll need it later on. So we are happy with this. We're going to continue. And the next one that we need to do is now we need to scrape 
all of the content from that blog. And here's where we're gonna use our second application that we just created. Uh, we're gonna use Scraptio, choose an event. We're going to scrape websites text and click continue. Now, you'll need to create an account here. It's gonna ask you for an API key. You, once you've got your account, you're into Scraptio, you're going to add a new key, you're going to hit, name it Zapier, for example, and then you're gonna hit create. You need to make sure that you copy this API key, and don't worry about copying this one because I will delete it, so there's no point in trying. Uh, but you need to copy this API key, and you need to paste that where you're being prompted to do so by Zapier to create the account. Once you've done that, you hit continue. And we're going to set the parameters for which URL we want it to scrape. We know which URL because the RSS feed app is giving us that. So the website to scrape is going to be the link. And we're gonna not, not do any filters for now, just go continue and test this step. Now it should be scraping all that data and it should look it should tell us what this looks like so it's got all the website copy beautiful that's what we want now that we know that that is scraping everything we're going to add another step here and now we've got the url we've got the content and now we need to format it in a way that's going to be uploadable into the google my business post and for that we need to take this to open ai and give it to a chat gpt to reword correctly so I'm gonna press here chat GPT. If you haven't made the connection to your chat GPT account, you will need to do that now. I won't show you how to do that. Um, if you want me to create a whole tutorial on how to connect uh, your chat GPT account to Xavier, just let me know. In the events required, I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to go continue. I've got my account connected here and the action. So what's the message that I'm gonna give ChatGPT? Well, you just use it like you would normally in the front end. I've created a prompt here. This prompt is pretty easy. It just tells ChatGPT to condense the blog essentially. So if we read it quickly, your role involves condensing the main points of a blog into a succinct summary. Please adhere to the following guidelines. Create a summary that's no longer than two sentences. Ensure that the summary does not exceed 200 words in length. And really it just tells you to conclude with a nice call to action. The objective being to get people to link, to click from the post to the blog and read more. I'm gonna copy that. I'll leave links to the description of this below so you can have that. I'm going to go back to my blog and say, uh, you, the end, I'm just gonna go blog content. Content and here, get the blog content, which I'll need to find from the scraped website. And here is all the blog content, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna use 4.0, oh, 3.5. Well, I'll use either 4 or 4.0, oh, the new model. And that's it, use it assistant, get it max tokens. I'm gonna to leave that at 500, just in case it needs a little bit more room to uh, to move around in terms of the length of the context, the temperature, I'm gonna leave it one. I'm gonna go test this step to see what the output looks like. Okay, I've got the response from my chat GPT and let's read this little one. Perfect, I've got a really nice condensed version of it and it's got a nice call to action. Uh, then click on the learn more button below because I'll have that learn more button below, beautiful. Now I need my final step, which is my Google My Business account. I'm gonna search on Google My Business for Zapier. Click Google My Business. The event, we're going to create a post. Continue. The account, you're gonna to have to choose your Google account. Continue. You're gonna to to choose the location. You might have a few. I'm just gonna choose the one for this instance. And the summary, which is the text that we've just created from ChatGPT, we're going to put here. So we're going to 
uh, and we're going to go to not your role, the reply. Beautiful. Um, choose the type. It's going to be a standard. It's not alert or anything. And the action type. So the button is going to be learn more. That's the call to action. And that's the call to action that we told ChatGPT to write at the end. The action button URL, we need to get from our RSS feed, the original link, which is good. Because that's where we want people to go, ideally. Here's the last one that's really important. The photo source URL. Again, that is in the RSS feed uh data and we're just going to scroll down till we find not the raw description but you actually need the raw link of the image and that is here if you've got wordpress um you can find it easily by looking for the uh, forward slash wp dash content that should be there so that's the image and now should be set to go now i'm going to show you here before i test this step the account in question is this one here uh, and as you can see here, it's got no posts at the moment, apart from this one that I've tested earlier. I'm just gonna refresh it again. So you see, there's no really another post here. Um, now we test this step. If everything goes well, it should have done everything here. If you have any error messages, cause I had a few when I was creating this, it's probably because the output of the GPT is too long. Uh, so you need to kind of make sure that it's not that long. We're going to go back to the uh, Google My Business account. I'm just going to reset it here. And now you can see that I've got my post automatically done. And if I read it here, it'll say the benefits, uh, thoroughbred gardening has numerous benefits, yada, yada, which what was the blog about. It even got the image from the feature image from the blog post, which is great. And I've got my learn more button. And if I click that, I go to my blog, boom, Bob's your uncle, we're set. I've got my automation done. And now every time that I post to my website, a blog, ChatGPT is gonna grab the content, make it nice, make it really nice for a Google My Business post and upload that there. So I am increasing the size of my digital footprint and increasing my local SEO without doing any extra work, which is what all these AI powered automations is about. Like I said, this video was a request from my community they voted on what video they wanted to see next and that's what they got they also get a lot more benefits here so if you really want to learn how to maximize and use ai appropriately and smart for your automations and your overall marketing feel free to join the community if you want if not no problems keep watching the videos and i'll try to do as many as i can don't forget to like and subscribe if you found a lot of value from this video Thanks for watching. Peace.